Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be continuing the BMO1 2023 discussion. If you remember in the previous four videos, we've discussed the first four problems. And uh, now we have two remaining problems. In this video, we'll be discussing uh, problem five. And in the, next, uh, pro in the next video, we'll be just solving problem six. All right, so what are we waiting for? Let's get started. So the problem is the following. We have uh, a thousand dots. They are evenly around a circle. And uh, each dot is either red or blue. We have uh, some term here that is called fault. So a fault is simply having two red dots that are adjacent. So something like this, R, R on the circle. If we have two adjacent R's, then this is one fault. Another way to get a fault is to have two, uh, like two dots that are uh, blue, that are exactly two apart. So B something, B. Something like this is also uh, like fault. So now we have two, two ways to get a fault, either like RR or B something and B, whatever this thing is. Okay. And uh, the question is simple. We need to uh, minimize the number of faults in uh, this, uh, these uh, thousand dots. All right. So this question is a combinatorial question. And uh, these, in these types of questions, uh, we, in which we need to minimize or maximize something, some quantity, we need to do two things. Of course, uh, after you find or guess uh, your answer, you need to do uh, two, two tasks. Uh, task uh, one. You need to provide an example, uh, an example, like, or maybe like a, just a configuration that has uh, the, the number you're claiming to be the smallest. So let's say like we got n is equal maybe 200. Then we, then we need, you just need to provide one example of one uh, configuration that has this answer. And then uh, number two, the task number two, you need to prove that you cannot get uh, smaller. So like that is 200. You cannot get, for example, 199 or something like that. Okay, so first of all, to start with the question, uh, we need to, of course, to start experimenting. How exactly can we minimize the number of faults? So let's simply try to uh, play with this one. Uh, let, let's start. Let's say we're going to have some R here. So if you want to minimize the number of faults, remember, uh, if I put another R here, then I'm already screwed. So I shouldn't put an R, I should uh, put a B here and actually another B here. Okay, so now, uh, like I don't have here RR nor RR here. However, if you can see, I already, I already got uh, a fault because remember B something B is a fault. Okay, so that was like uh, an immediate uh, like fault. Anyway, like I have, this must be uh, like always uh, true whenever I have an R either like you're going to have a fault produced from the R's or from the B's. Okay, uh, let's continue anyway. So uh, right now, what should I put here? Uh, of course, I have the choice. I can put an R or a B. Uh, let's, let's put a B and a B because when you have like two adjacent B's, it's uh, no problem. However, if you have an R, then automatically here you're going to have a B or something. Anyway, uh, now, after having like two Bs, uh, what can I put here? Uh, clearly, I cannot have a B. If I put a B, then it's already a fault. So I should put an R here and an R here. Next, if I put now an R here, then I already got a fault. An R here is already a fault, so I should put a B. But again, if you can see, I'm already getting faults with, with the Bs. Uh, anyway, yeah, so basically, uh, that's kind of the pattern, if you think. Uh, like BRB, 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 something like that. And each one of them, uh, each three, like this, they are just uh, giving us a fault. So one fault here, one fault here, and one fault here. So <clears throat> based on this, on this configuration, uh, it seems I'm getting each three terms, I, I need to have like one fault. So maybe the answer is something like 1000 divided by three maybe like ceiling or floor, something like that. 
Okay, however, like uh, one thing we're doing here, we're trying to avoid the RR. In this configuration, we're trying to, to play here. We're trying to escape from the RR, but we're allowing the B, the B faults. So why not doing the opposite? Maybe if we try to uh, like prevent the B faults and allowing the Rs, maybe it's going to be better. So let's uh, try to do that as well. So right now I'm going to start here with a B. So if we have a B, then uh, no problem. We can set, set another B next to it. Uh, then uh, I cannot put a B here nor here because I would get a fault or a fault like this. So I'm going to put an R and an R. An R here and an R here. All right, so far so good. So that seems like better than previously. Previously, like in any three, I'm kind of uh, like screwing up. Uh, anyway, uh, let's continue. Uh, okay, now what can I put here? If I put an R, I'll screw up. If I put a B, I'm also going to screw up. So uh, remember, like our strategy here is to try to minimize the number of, or like to not allow the, the B faults. So let's allow the R faults because there we were allowing, as we said, the uh, B faults. So right now I'm just going to allow the R faults like this. Okay, so now a fault here and a fault here. But let me uh, continue now. Now if I put an R, of course, I should be putting a B here and putting a B here. Okay, what next? Uh, next, of course, I can also put another B and another B. That's good. Let's continue. Uh, so now, uh, what can we put here? Again, uh, we must have like an R. We must have an R here. Okay. Uh, then, what uh, can we put? Again, like we're going to either put an R or a B. So like we're putting an R and an R. And so on. <clears throat> okay, so now actually you can see the pattern. If you look uh, closely, you're going to see that R, B, B, R. R, B, B, R. R, B, B, R. And uh, we can actually see that uh, we're getting false uh, wh when, where exactly? Uh, like here we're getting a fault. Here we're getting a fault. So actually, if you just look at it like this, as well it's rrb rrbb and rrbb uh, so each four are going to give us one fault <clears throat> so which one do you think is better getting a fault each three or each four well clearly this one is better so as you can see uh, like based, based actually on this example uh, if we have a thousand then if you divide that by four the answer will be 250 so here actually the answer for sure is better. Okay, so from this experiment, experimenting, uh, we see that if we allow here the, the R faults, it's going to be a better. Okay, so right now uh, we have like, a, like kind of a guess that N equals 250 is the answer. And uh, remember we have two tests, provide an example. And indeed, we, we, we did actually that because this is our example. It's just like putting RRBB and so on 250 times. And uh, easily, you can just see that each uh, four, like uh, RRBB, is going to be just to give us uh, the, the Rs, which are defaults. So just uh, it's uh, 250. Okay, so now uh, our second task is to pro prove that, uh, like the minimality. We need to prove that. Okay, so let's try to do that. How exactly are we going to prove the minimality? That is, uh, the best uh, we can do is just to get each four uh, things. We're going to have uh, a fault. Okay, well, well this, we already actually have uh, one idea. Fr from our observation, it seems that, uh, like, the best we can do is uh, getting one fault each four. So maybe if we can claim that... In, in any four consecutive points, we're going to have at least one fault. That will be actually enough. Because that means in the first four, we're going to have at least a fault. Here, we're going to have at least a fault. And so on. Because we have 250, uh, like four consecutive, uh, then we're just going to have uh, 250 faults. So let's try to do it, to prove that as our claim. So our claim now is... Uh, in 
any four points. We have at least a fault. Okay, let's try to prove that. Okay, so uh, to start with uh, like four. First of all, we're going to either have a red or a blue. So let's say we start with a blue. If we start with a the blue, then automatically this thing here, of course, right now we're assuming the contrary. Assume that no, we can actually provide uh, four points uh, and uh, they don't have any fault. So if we if we do have that, then this thing automatically it must be uh, R. And if this thing is R, then automatically uh, this cannot be an R. This cannot be an R. So it must be a B and a B. But guess what? We already got ourselves a fault. Fault here. So that doesn't work. So assume that we started with an R. Again, if you start with an R, then this thing automatically is a B. And if this thing is a B, then this thing here is automatically an R. And if this is an R, then automatically this thing is a B. Let's see, do we have a fault here? Uh, we don't have consecutive R's. And we don't have like faults created from the B. So it seems this is screwing up our claim. Mm. So our claim unfortunately doesn't hold. Like because this thing, this this these four consecutive, as you can see, they don't have any fault. Not from the R's, not from the B's. But actually, if we try to analyze this, let's try to analyze this. What happens after or before? Because uh, this thing seems like too good. If you try to look here, if you try to look here, this thing here can be what? If it is an R, we're creating an R fault. If this thing is a B, then we're creating... Uh, like a B fault. Same thing goes for this. It cannot be if it's an R, we're creating an R fault, and if it's a B, we're creating a B fault. So that seems that yes, this thing doesn't have a fault, but it's like producing a fault here and a fault there. So perhaps we shouldn't give up on our claim. Maybe just adjust it. How exactly? So we cannot say that each four points are going to create uh, a fault inside them, but they are going to create a fault either inside them or on the border, right? On their border, like here. Let's say like this is a border, like this. They're going to create one here and actually another one here. So let's fix actually just one direction. Let's say to the left. So now we can change our claim like this. Uh, in any four, four, actually any four points, uh, I mean like consecutive points, uh, any four points create a fault and this fault can be either inside them or uh, let's say at the left border so now this thing uh, clearly works uh, because of our discussion here. Uh, like here, we're simply creating one inside, and, the, and if it starts with an R, we can actually uh, create uh, like a one to the left. We have to create one to the left. So now, actually, this claim is enough to, pro to, pro to prove our answer, because that means if we like just divide these guys into four blocks, and so on, then either this is going to have a fault, or it's going to ha create a fault here, just like here created from this and this thing is the same it's uh, provide like uh, creating a fault here or here and so on this one it has a fault here or here so as you can see that actually is enough to prove our answer and indeed that means uh, we are for like the minimality proof task is already done already done and that's it the answer is 250 as a summary this question we didn't really uh, like use any some any theory or like advanced theory or let's say some technique the only thing that we tried is uh, observe we t we try to uh, play with the problem uh, with the intention of uh, minimizing the, the number of faults we tried first of all to prevent the r faults but we got actually uh, each three are going to give us one fault 
then we tried uh, to prevent the me faults and that was way better so we got uh, each four are going to give us one fault and uh, based on on that observation we got that 250 probably is the answer easily we already have our example so that's done uh, for the minimality proof uh, we just uh, our idea was very simple we, we, we tried to claim that each four are going to have a fault inside them however this failed so we needed to modify that we actually proved each four are going to produce either in a fault inside or to the left border at the left border and that actually uh, worked and everything was good all right my friends so uh, we're done with problem five in the next video we'll be uh, finishing the this pmo one paper by uh, discussing the last problem which is problem six i hope you guys enjoy enjoy the video please like and uh, share and subscribe to the channel and join the discord server as well and see you guys in the next video